Hi there guys, um, I thought I'd just quickly chuck this video together. Uh, I put a post up in the um, in the Gran Turismo page, uh, it was saying about different grinds and stuff to get uh, credits and things. Um, this one was a recommendation from Kirith Carr on YouTube, um, who if you want to um, give a good follow, or give a follow to, he's, he's pretty good to be fair. Um, this was a recommendation from him, as I said, it's the, um, it's the SRT Tomahawk SVGT. Uh, it's well over a thousand brake horsepower. It weighs less than a ton and absolutely goes like um, you know what off of a shovel. Um, it costs a million credits, and the only bits that you have to buy afterwards um, is a set of uh, racing soft tyres, and I believe it was the uh, fully customizable LSD. Let me just check, which I think is on semi-racing. Yeah, so fully customizable LSD. You don't need anything else apart from that and the set of soft tyres, which is there. Um, so it's a, well, a little bit over a million, but nothing too dramatic. I think the recommended settings that he posted in for the car, I believe, uh, were dropping the suspension sort of like quite low down. Um, when I first done it, uh, it, I've got to be honest, it didn't work for me. Um, I found that the car wouldn't turn properly, um, so I put the suspension back up. Um, let me just quickly change this oil because I've been, I've done like 150 something miles in this car now just doing this grind. Change that so it should be running a bit better now. Um, yep, yeah, that's fine. Okay. So let's go to the race and then have a look at the settings there. So go to World Circuits, obviously with your Tomahawk equipped and the tyres and the LSD. And it's this one down the bottom here. Go straight to the bottom and go to Trial Mountain Cup Championships. So check the settings. Um, yeah, so racing soft tyres. Um, the body height, I think he had it down to, I'm sure it was something like 74, I can't remember off the top of my head, I'd have to check the video again. Um, but like I said, I couldn't get it to turn properly, so I was thinking, well, the car's really low as it is, it's big wheels in the arch, as you lower it down, that car ain't turning for anything. So I decided to bring the, um, the height up to, as I say, like 86, 86, and so far uh, it's worked fine for me. I've probably done about 20 of these uh, races now, or 20 of these championships now, and it's worked like a treat. Um, I can't remember what the initial figures are for here, for where the initial talk was, um, but I just went off of his ones that he set up, and it changed it to five at the front and five at the rear. Um, I haven't tinkered around with that too much. I've kind of just left it as it is because it works for me. Um, and it's, as I say, it's a really easy grind to, to get 100,000 per championship. Obviously, if you don't hit any walls or cars. So, here we go. So, good track anyway as well, to be fair. Um, so, there's 12 cars in the race. And by the time you get to the long straight, as you go through the tunnel, um, you will be in first place. So this is like my uh, like first or second race today. I haven't been up that long. To be fair, you don't need to go absolutely hell for leather because even if you took two laps to overtake all the cars driving at like silly slow speed, you would still win this. Especially in this car. Obviously just try and ensure you get your clean race bonus. Don't hit the walls, don't hit the cars, etc. So there you go, that's it, you're in first place now. And that was going fairly conservatively as well. As soon as you get past first place, feel free to open the taps and kind of go for it.
you can definitely expect laps um, under 140 in this car as well which is pretty good um, the only other thing I would say as well is there are a couple of turns in this where you will get air especially in this car so be careful on those turns I'll point them out on the second time round um, but yeah, you have to be careful because otherwise you will end up in the wall and then you'll lose your clean race bonus just there. Uh, that was stupid, not concentrating. So I may well have lost it for that, I don't know. We'll see. So that turn has just come over there, you can get air off of that, especially on the reverse track as well. You will definitely get air on that turn if you're gunning it. And then you like unless you take the turn so finely, you will end up in the wall. Any other grinds out there, obviously please feel free to post them loads of people will be interested I've seen people talk about Fisherman's Ranch and things like that um, not a huge fan of the rally side of the game um, but it's still around I guess so that there that drop there you will get air on air as well if you are gunning it So first part of the race, whether or not it's going to take the clean race bonus off me or not, I don't know, we'll find out in a sec. Hopefully it doesn't, might be nice, I don't know. Oh there you go, so it did give it to me. Okay, so yeah, £30,000, uh, sorry, I keep saying pound, 30,000 credits per race, and then a 40,000 uh, championship bonus at the end. It's an easy 100,000, like no problem. Uh, I won't bore you with showing you the rest of the video. Um, yeah, just do that championship race on those settings. That's what works for me. If you can find a different one, then yeah, happy days, go for it. Uh, and as I said, yeah, it's an easy 100,000. Obviously, 10 championship races. There's your million back that you spend buying a Tomahawk. Carry on if you want to, if you, if you want to have a bit of a grindy day um, and an easy grind. Um, and just carry on doing that. Make your money that way if you want to. If uh, you found this sort of like helpful and that, please feel free to sort of like drop a like, um, subscribe if you want. I don't post loads of content and things, but with Gran Turismo, I think I probably will now. But yeah, enjoy. Thanks very much.